The state slate needed a few adjustments due to weather concerns. Baseball and softball games being postponed and pushed to a Sunday-Monday schedule. But 6A baseball still on out in Lawrence, Wichita Northwest. Taking on Shawnee Mission Northwest, the Grizzlies trailing by one when Dylan Dirks lines an RBI out to left center, brings home a run. The Grizzlies would be in a 2-0 hole. They do get some great defense here from shortstop Will Clark. Got my Will Clark poster up on the wall, but Shawnee Mission Northwest gets the win 7-0. The Grizzlies season ends at 17-6. So hoping for some better news for our local teams in the other 6A game. Campus facing Lawrence Free State. Neil Lemons, quick reflexes and the heads-up play for Campus throw into third there. But Free State would strike in the fifth. Jonathan Sathoff way out there, and that brings home two runs. Free State wins 4-0. The road ends for Campus with a 15-8 record. Rain falling on the 5A tournament at X Stadium. Bishop Carroll, the number one seed, but trailing 7 to nothing to 8 seed. Blue Valley Southwest here. Miller Hogan finally gives up a hit to Adam Tice down the line. And as he tries to stretch it into a triple, this throw is just too good. Yeah, can you believe that? Carroll wouldn't get a runner on third all day long. They did play some solid defense from the second inning on, but too little too late. The Golden Eagles end their season in a 7-0 defeat to finish 16-4 and four on the year. The right to play Blue Valley Southwest in the semifinals on the line. It's either Mays South or Newton. The Railers pitcher Wyatt Burbrink touched up in the first by Cole Coster. That's through the hole to score Seth Davis, but back comes Newton. Angel Stevens. You like the weight he puts behind this one, and he just puts it up into the wind and lets it fly. It does carry all the way out to the 330 sign. Drake Sturgeon would slide on home. Game tied at twos after an innings, but the Mavericks would surge from there. They'd win it 10 to 4. They play Blue Valley tomorrow at 10 a.m.